I'm Mark, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'd like to take you for a walk around our 2012 Holden Commodore SV6 perfect blue station wagon this afternoon. This car is a Series 2 and it's very late 2012, October 2012, which makes it an MY 12.5. Starting at the front of the car, you notice the car presents in really good order. Beautiful chrome grill, plus the additional chrome running through the bottom of the front bar. We do have factory fog lights as standard and hardly a mark on that bonnet. A couple of very minor little chips that have been touched up, but overall in really good order. As we move around down the uh, driver's side of the car now, you'll notice it's fitted with factory 18 inch alloy wheels. And we have actually gone to the extent of putting four brand new tyres on this car as well. So your rubber all round is brand new. As we scan down the side of the car, the Juco presents very similar to the front of the car in really good order, uh, virtually unmarked as it came out of the factory so far in its life. Uh, yeah, it's a credit to the way it's been looked after so far. As we come around to the tailgate, you notice all the, all the chrome badging running through the tailgate is also fitted with factory colour-coded reverse sensors. And of course, the, uh, the chrome dual exhaust pipes and uh, as we come down the left hand side of the car now just to give you a really good overall picture of the quality um, presents very similar you know struggle to actually find a mark on the juco right around this car apart from those few minor little touch-ups on the bonnet uh, one real one important thing to note or not that important but we're very pedantic a small scuff mark on the left hand rear alloy where it's uh it's endured a little bit of gutter gutter rash uh, but overall, I'm just being super particular because the car presents in such tidy order. Now back around to the front of the car, we'll just have a bit of a chat about a few of the, uh, few of the statistics under the bonnet here. Uh, 3.6 litre uh, V6 motor, delivers you 210 kilowatts of power, 350 newton metres of torque. But at the same time, it actually delivers a uh, combined fuel economy of 9.8 litres per 100 k's. So from an overall mileage point of view, you're going to get in excess of 720 kilometres to a tank of fuel. So it does actually deliver you the power and the performance, but at the same time gives you the economy as well. So the overall package in the Holden ticks every box. Moving back around to the rear of the car, the tailgate section here, just a simple matter of pressing the little pneumatic button there, raises our tailgate straight up out of our way. You notice the gas struts have got the power to actually take that tailgate up without us having to do anything. Uh, in our spare wheel, well, important to note, being a real car, that it is fitted with a full-size factory spare. Um, I, that car's, uh, that tyre's hardly been on the car, uh, nearly 100% tread. Also is fitted with the factory cargo cover. If we want to store anything that uh, we've got in the back of the car, we just pull that cover closed. Once you close the tailgate, Whatever's in there is completely obscured by any prying eyes. Also, uh, with the wagon, if you need to go that extra length and store additional um, additional cargo, or or you've got something long, you've bought you know a few pieces of timber from Bunnings, and uh, they won't just fit in that back section. Simple matter of just releasing the second row seats, it drops down into position. Important to notice, it does just fold down completely flush. Um, you know, there's a, a number of cars where you drop that second row seat and you've got this annoying little tilt on the, uh, the back of the seat, but uh, no, of course, being Holden Design, they, uh, they do do it right. Obviously, 60-40, I can drop that other seat down if I want, but just for the purposes of showing you the depth of storage, we only need to pop the one down. Simple matter of just flicking it back into place, locks away into position. Okay, now we're in the interior of our SV6 Series 2, remember, so that's important when we come to a couple of features shortly. Do notice, starting just on the right-hand corner of the dash here, we do have light-sensitive headlights, so um, basically as dusk approaches, uh, late in the afternoon, headlights come on automatically, it's a great feature. Also on our indicator stalk, you notice we do have factory cruise control fitted, um, just to give you an idea of how how easy it is to use the cruise on a Holden, simply a matter of depressing that button. You notice cruise, cruise control comes up on the dash that it is, we have actually set the unit into the on position. When we hit our desired speed, just a flick of that little um, knob there, 
and uh, it'll just set itself. Simply a matter of either hitting your button on your stalk or touching your brake pedal will disengage um, if required. Uh, leather wrap steering wheel we have, you notice it is tilt and reach adjustable. So set ourselves up into race mode and uh, just lock that steering column away and we're good to go. On our steering wheel, a number of items that are important. We've got volume control for our audio. We've got our Bluetooth button there for accepting and declining phone calls if you don't want to answer it. Um, and on the left hand side, we've got our trip computer buttons, feeds all the information on your screen as far as mileage. This car's only traveled 50,000 Ks. Um, we'll give you range to empty, your average speed and average fuel consumption as well. Above that is your audio button, which allows you to flick between AM, FM, and of course, music streaming. As I mentioned, being the Series 2, your music streaming through your Bluetooth is standard in this car. Um, it is really efficient. We're currently on uh, FM at the moment. Just a simple matter of me hitting on that button because both Wayne and myself who are in the car, one filming, one talking, have both paired our, our phones to this car. We've jumped in, turned it on, and it's picked up whichever of the first phones was paired to the car. So it's actually a really user-friendly um, audio system and quality sound as well. So we move into this area now, basically a lot of these same buttons are where we control off the steering wheel and you also have your other control buttons here as well. Can actually store music in folders in this car also. Um, you do notice you see nav navigation buttons on the head main head unit there. Um, it was a factory option, so this car is not fitted with sat nav. Um, just like you to make aware of that. Down the bottom here, we have our climate climate control air conditioning. So we set ourselves to exactly the temperature we want. Do notice it is dual zone as well. So that's an important feature. Um, once again, really efficient system. Move down into the uh, console here. You notice that beautiful piano black marble finish. Um, we have a manual button to turn our traction control off. Obviously our T-bar there to just select drive. I will just pop back to reverse. One thing to note, um, this car is fitted with sensors. Um, and when you are reversing, it will just bring up, not a camera, but it'll bring up an image as you're getting closer and actually warn you when you're approaching um, something behind you. You can also select sport shift um, and we change gears manually through the stick. Uh, good if you're in hilly areas or good if you're you know, feeling like um, Peter Brock. We move back past uh, the T-bar now. We will pop it back into park so we don't uh, just go driving. Manual button to lock and unlock our doors. Got all our uh, outer power mirror controls here as well. And then all of our power buttons for our electric windows. We can isolate the electric windows if we want to. So if you've got the kids in the car, you know when I'm playing with the windows and annoying, annoying you. Also, when we go inside this console lid here, a couple of important things to note. We've got a 12 volt uh, power outlet, and we've also got the USB outlet there as well. Import, important thing is with the um, USB, if you plug in your phone, an iPod, an iPad, the Holden will support the charging of the device. There are a number of cars that won't support charging when you've got it plugged in. This car will do it. So now we've uh, spoken about a lot of the features, we'll move to safety now and uh, safety. In the uh, Holden, we've got all our airbags. We've got front, side and curtain airbags. If you couple that with a lot of the uh, safety on the outside of the car, such as factory traction and stability control, you end up completing the whole puzzle and achieve a five-star ANCAP safety rating. So a car that you know that family are extremely safe in, um, you can't get a safer car. So. Last but not least, while we're on the inside of the car, the service history. Let's talk about the service history. This car has been serviced at all of the correct intervals since new, all the way up to the current service. Uh, it was serviced a couple of thousand Ks before it came into our stock, but uh, look out, our service de department decided to uh, spend a little bit more money on it and we've given it a, another intermediate service. So. Once again, you've got even more peace of mind. You know that you're jumping into a car that's just been fully inspected. It's had a current service on it. So basically get in, turn the key, put your music on and drive away.
Okay, so in summary, a lot to like about this example. It's a, it's a cracker example of this model 2012 Holden Commodore SV6 Series 2 wagon. Five star ANCAP safety rating, 210 kilowatts, 350 newton metres of torque. 9.8 litres per 100 k's, in excess of 700 k's to a tank of fuel. Um, you've got the performance, you've got the safety, you've got the quality, and last but not least, still under new car warranty for nearly another 18 months. Everything about this car screams value. If you've got any further questions, feel free to give us a call, 9907055. Last but not least, you notice this car's running and you can't even hear it. Magnificent.